Video games are like music. There are many genres and people have their different tastes. One genre that I love playing is the stealth genre. These games require proper decision making and proper timing to take down the enemy. Using your environment is key in succeeding. One mistake and it's over. There's another genre that I used to play. These are the shooters. First or third person shooters. These games require proper aiming and good reflexes. The environment is also used in order to protect yourself from the enemy fire. It's common knowledge that these two games go well with each other. There are games that utilize these mechanics that can be considered the best games of all time. There will be the times where developers will mess up resulting in a piece of garbage like this. Ever heard of this? No. no. Oh, shut the fuck up! Of course you don't. All I can say that this game is bad and end the video right now. But well, we won't have fun, will we? No! Ah! This is Trigger Man. The game starts with a cutscene that has a generic guy right here framed for a murder of a member in a mafia. He hires the help of the Trigger Man to handle the situation and make generic guy come clean. Your first task is to rob a casino. Look how much detail this game has. It must have took a lot of time and effort out of the people who made this. Looks beautiful. Let's see. This game came out in 2004. The same year as these games. Those games don't even stand a chance against Trigger Man. It should have won game of the year. The first level starts in a casino that you're supposed to rob. The controls seem pretty stiff, so let's make them loose. Are you kidding me? There's no difference. Since the aim system runs in an accelerated sensitivity, it takes a while for the camera to catch up to the speed that you want. You can't make small adjustments if you are used to aiming at a high setting. I wish I was that bad at aiming. In that case, I can improve, but it isn't. The game doesn't want me to aim properly. You saw that, right? That took like eight shots to kill him. He didn't even have any protection on. The main concern I have for this game is the combat system. I mean, the lack of a combat system. The cover system is flawed and the hit detection is broken. If you want to hide behind the cover, that's fine. That's what shooters are meant to do. But if you were to shoot, the most effective way is to constantly check your crosshair to see if it's red. And if it is, go crazy and shoot. Otherwise, you will miss. Unless the person that you are aiming at has armor, the bullets will stun your enemy. Your opponent will be helpless as you waste your entire clip onto his body. Aiming at the head is a guaranteed one-shot kill but that's if you're spot on. It may seem like you landed a direct hit, but the hitbox is so small that it's easy to miss. The main problem about shooting from cover is that when it's your turn to hit, you have to reposition yourself by stepping a few steps back and getting up revealing yourself to the enemy. Otherwise the bullets will act like it has hit a wall or something. But it's okay though, the AI is really toned down. Most of the enemies will wait a few seconds before shooting you, giving you a small window of time to attack. Don't get me started on how the ammo system works. You start out with a portion of the ammo your gun can carry. There are these ammo supply crates that replenish your ammo of every weapon you have in your inventory, and there is no limit on how many times a player can refill their weapon after battle. That may seem alright, but here is where it gets frustrating. The enemies carry weapons. So therefore, you can pick up their weapons, right? WRONG! They don't drop any. As soon as you run out of ammo, you have to constantly run back to the supply crate and restock. If you don't, you are forced to use your knife. Using the knife sucks. It takes a couple of hits to kill an enemy. That means that you have to run up to your enemy, who is armed, and land a few hits to get a kill. 
It is only effective if there is only one person left alive. Otherwise, you will die every time. Restocking your ammo does not re-equip your weapon. And the game doesn't tell you that you can cycle through your weapons with the D-pad. That means new players will have a hard time playing because they don't know how to switch their weapons. This has happened to me during my first playthrough. The trigger man breaks into the bank vault and steals the diamonds left in the safe. He then heads out from which he came and the police arrive. The trigger man has no choice but to leave the casino without getting caught. He can't use any direct action since he doesn't want to bring heat onto his family. This is where your first stealth mission begins. It's bad. It's pretty much trial and error stealth. What I mean is that the player cannot tell which hiding spots are effective by just looking at them, like other games. They have to test out every hiding spot they can to see if it works or not. This is the part where most people give up at this point. You have to make sure the AI does not see you. The cops usually walk in patterns, so knowing when to move and when to hide is easy. These flaws can happen even in battle. The only time an enemy AI will notice you if they see you. There will be times where you can shoot near an enemy and they will not notice until they get into your line of sight. But what doesn't make sense is that they will know your exact location if you shoot from afar. It's like the enemies are the cops from Grand Theft Auto. After all that clusterfuck, the trigger man sneaks into a villa and tries to negotiate with the enemy kingpin. The level starts with the player sniping some enemies. Unless you know how to quickscope, you will never beat this mission. Just give up immediately. All jokes aside, sniping is difficult because of the flaws of the game I mentioned earlier. You're scoped in whenever you switch to the sniper, therefore you cannot move. This plus the bad controls make this section pretty difficult. Moving around is a hassle, with you switching weapons every second. You don't belong in here. That's racist. After you have killed everyone outside, it's time to infiltrate the villa. For the most part, it's easy. Like I said before, the enemy gets stunned for the entire duration of the gunfight. If you have an automatic rifle equipped, they will die instantly. You just need to be careful with not letting the enemy get the first shot. We then interrupt a game of pool. The boss fight is easy. All you have to do is find a good spot to hide. The AI will think that you have disappeared, so just shoot away. The Kingpin's granddaughter decides to take ownership of the Mafia after she discovers that her grandfather died. She decides to make the Trigger Man a target. She goes into hiding and it's up to the Trigger Man to hunt her down. You now enter the train station and track down the mole who has been telling lies about generic guy's family. This stage requires the player to use what they have learned playing this game. It has everything wrong with the game I've mentioned before. The player has to take down a boss that is protected by the other members of his mafia. You have to eliminate everyone else but the boss for easy access to the room he is in. This is by far the worst level in the game. It's almost impossible to beat, but there is one thing that makes this stage beatable. Like I mentioned before, the AI does not react to sound, so you have to shoot from places the NPC can't see you. Doing this makes the first part of the mission easier, but the boss is a pain in the ass. He barely takes any damage, so you have to land a lot of shots on him before he runs away. Since he also carries an assault rifle, you cannot get hit, or else you have to do the stage all over from the beginning. anymore. I'm done. I This game has got the best of me. I can't keep playing without the feeling of killing myself. Let's just play a different game. We're gonna play a good game this time. Oh shit, it's Trigger Man! Shut up! Oh shit, sorry. 
What the fuck? You don't understand, do you? You're trapped here. You cannot play anything else other than this beautiful piece of gaming history right here. Why are you doing this? Money. Money makes the world go round, you see. In this generation, people would waste their money supporting other companies. We don't want that. We want all your money. Our plan is to trap the whole world and take over the gaming industry. You will not stop us. The only thing you can do is to keep playing. We have no choice but to keep you contained. You are unable to tell the world about this game. But, knowing how much you feel about this game, that won't be possible. You are trapped here forever. <laughs> you guys got me right there. Nice prank, guys. I don't think this is a prank. I guess I'm trapped here forever. I have no choice but to finish the game. The stage design is lackluster. There is little you can do in these stages, and you cannot interact with anything, unless it has something to do with the main objective itself. The back of the box lists realistic locations as a selling point. I'm not kidding, check yourself. Clearing certain objectives can be time consuming. Since the game does not tell you what's going on, you will get lost and wander around the map looking for something you can press the action button with. The only time a game will tell you information about an objective is when you hit the pause button. The game wants you to backtrack, which I do not mind, but a game this linear, it would not make much sense. You finally come face to face to the granddaughter you have been chasing for the rest of the game. This has to be the easiest final boss I have ever played. It may seem hard at first because you have to kill the enemies that's guarding her without taking much damage. Afterwards you have to fight her with close combat, which is not an effective strategy in this game. What you're supposed to do is pick up the grenade launcher and save it until the boss fight. After everyone else is dead, you have to use the grenade launcher you picked up earlier and shoot her with it. She will die in a few shots. The credits roll and everyone lives happily ever after. Well not everyone. That's Trigger Man for you. With the lack of interactivity, poor gameplay, and broken controls, this game won't be enjoyable for the hardcore audience. It looks difficult, but once you take off the mask and understand how the game actually works, you will steamroll through most of the levels. The only time I had a struggle was at the train station, because the aiming system couldn't work for me. Do I recommend this game to anybody? Of course not, you saw what happened? There's a reason why I mentioned all that stuff in the beginning of the video. You must understand how a game works in order for it to be playable. You have defeated me. I wouldn't expect you of all people to beat this game. Most of my prisoners would rather die than finish this game. I'll set you free. But there is a cost. You must not mention about the supernatural powers this game has. You must stop filming and delete this video right now. Other than that, you will be free to do whatever you want. No. But we made a deal. You can't go back on your word. I'll make sure you'll pay for this. You do realize I don't have to play you again, right? No. You know about my flaws. Yes, I'm not perfect. But neither are you. You have to accept the fact that nothing is perfect. Not every game will get a perfect score from IGN. You must understand that. Everyone is too focused on what the reviews say rather than actually playing the game themselves. Your viewers will not have the same experience as you do. That is my purpose. I want others to feel what it's like to play a game like it's something new in their life. I feel my power slipping away. I have to go now. But whoever opens this case, they will understand my message. Goodbye my sweet child. I got some unfinished business to do.
making sure no one ever gets a hold of this game ever again. Good riddance, you piece of shit! Yeah. Glad it's over. Hey, hey wait a minute. Wasn't that wasn't that my game? Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. Good job. <laughs>